Ladies and gentlemen, today I will introduce our three sound device embedder and controller integrated machine installation to you. Then first step, connect the batteries and panels correctly. Uh, first, let's start from the batteries. Now we have a lot of batteries, but every battery is 12 volts. Then, four batteries connect into one group, and the connect way is in series. If you have a lot of batteries also, so please check the batteries voltage at first. Then, please pay attention. After connecting, the battery voltage should be 48 volts. Then, different gaps use parallel connect into parallel Then let's start to our solar panels. Every solar panel is 18 volts. So, four solar panels in series in a gap. Then, the voltage should be 72 volts. If you also have a lot of panels, you can connect into per year also. Normally, the battery voltage should be same with a controller voltage, and the third panel voltage is 1.5 times than the battery voltage. If you don't have any installation map, please ask for our stuff to give you a uh, installation about the, the how to connect the batteries and panels in a correct way. So let's start next step. Okay, the first step is Can I connect the batteries? Please pay attention about the positive side and negative side. Normally, the red cable means positive, and the black cable means negative. Okay, let's go ahead for me to see the machine where you. The indicators will be light, will be light. You can see clearly from the indicators about the battery capacity. Okay, then let's start next. First, should care about <coughs> here, the after connecting the battery cables, you should put turn on the switch of the battery switch. Then you can see clearly from the our controller indicators. Then next step, connect to solar panels. Connect the solar cables. Also pay attention to the positive and negative side. Don't re reverse. If reverse, the machine will be broken. After connect the battery in the right way and the solar panels in the right way, then you can see clearly of the indicator volts. After connecting the solar cables, the solar indicator will be light, will be sure red. It is means the machine is charging. If the battery is charged full, then the solar indicator, this one, will be shown green. Okay. Then, please, this one, the solar cables should connect after battery cables connect the machine. If you connect the solar cables first, then connect battery cables, it will, the machine will be broken. So please, 
pay attention. Connect battery cable first, then start connecting the solar cables. Okay, next step. Okay. After connect the AC output switch for three seconds, you can hear a voice, D, like this kind of stuff. That means we, the inverter is open and we can use the power. Here, see clearly. The out indicator means the inverter is working now. If this electricity out indicator don't have any shoe, red or other colors, please check if the inverter has some problems. Normally, when you open the system, it will be shoe red. Okay, next step. Now we can use our machine. Put the appliance inside into the machine and you can see the bubbles shining. And uh, you can use different machines like uh, laptop, uh, computer, and uh, TV also. Okay. So, next step, let's go to UPS. UPS, let's start to connect with the public power. Public power, okay. Then, connect the AC input switch. That means the machine already connect with the public power. The UPS means when the battery power is below 5%, then the machine will change to the public power automatically. Then the solar panel also charge for the battery, but the appliance using power is from the public power. Okay, next step, please shoot the Should the inverter, no inverter working, just uh, public power working now. Just public power working. Okay. The lights will be shining, but the shining from the public power. Let's check with the uh, forward board. You can see. Here now, this this light didn't shine means now we don't use the power from the solar power. The inverter is turned off and we use power from the public power. From the public power. Okay, let's check. Next step. Please pay attention to the AC of input means the public power connect here, then we can use UPS function. And uh, here also has AC output. That means sometimes when we want to use a big power machine, we can connect uh, the cable with this output directly. Please. Turn on the switch. If you want to, the power will be changed to the public power automatically when the UPS function does work. But if you want to change into the inverter power, then Press this button for three seconds. You can hear also one voice, D, then. You can see 
here, this indicate, out indicate, will be she read. Then it means the inverter is working. That's all. Thank you.